Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching. Finally, we have a nice warm, sunny day out here on the property. Uh, I've been waiting for weather like this for a really long time, so I thought this would be a good time to come out and make a video for you guys. But today, we're gonna be shooting shotguns, and uh, you guys seem to like the shotgun videos quite a bit when I post them, so uh, this seemed like the perfect time to get out a couple shotguns and bring you guys out here with me. So, the guns we're gonna shoot today are the brother-in-law's 18.5 inch Weatherby. This is a pump action 12 gauge shotgun. And my Benelli Supernova. This is a 28 inch 12 gauge pump action shotgun. And uh, we're not gonna do any ballistic shell testing or nothing today. Uh, I assume these are probably pretty similar as far as terminal ballistics go. Maybe one day we'll put that to the test. But today, I'm just gonna get out some targets and see what the difference in spread is between the 18.5 and the 28 inch shotgun at different distances. So I'm gonna set up these targets and we will get started. All right, here's the targets we're gonna be using. I wrote with a Sharpie 18.5 inch on this one and 28 inch on this one. So I don't really wanna use the same target for both guns because once we get a little bit further out, uh, they're gonna spread quite a bit. So I wanna know uh, which pellets came from which gun and that's why we're using two targets. All right, we're out at 10 yards and we're gonna use some nine pellet double lot buckshot for this. And the Weatherby is wide open. It has no choke tubes at all. And the Benelli has the cylinder choke in it. So these barrels should be uh, pretty similar. So let's start with the 18.5 inch Weatherby. And here's our 10 yard group from the 18.5 inch. It looks like most of those pellets are all within this gray circle here. Uh, this is from the wad. There's no hole going through the wood, so that's not a pellet. So it looks like these are our two furthest pellets, and they're about six inches apart. And the 28 inch Benelli, also from 10 yards. So the wad is all the way over here on the other target, but the shot group itself is much tighter than from our 18 inch gun. So it looks like our two furthest pellets from the Benelli are about four and a half inches apart. So actually more of a difference than I expected. Let's move it back a little further. All right, now we're back at 20 yards. Once again, starting with the 18 inch Weatherby. So I'd rather just wait and do both guns and then come up here and look at the target, but I'm worried that uh, we're gonna have a pellet go onto the other target and not know that it came from the other gun. So that's why I'm checking them in between each shot. But here is the 20 yard group from our 18 inch Weatherby. And most of them are up high there. That could have been because of me though. Uh, we have, looks like three or four of them down here. And all the others are up there on top. And it looks like these are our two furthest pellets. And they're about 11 and a half inches apart. And the Benelli from 20 yards. So this group is also really high. I'm gonna start aiming a little lower and I'm gonna tape up all these holes before we leave. But uh, this is a little bit different than we had at 10 yards. And our two furthest shots from the Benelli are actually at about 12 inches. So that's the opposite of what we saw at 10 yards and we actually had a bigger group from the Benelli at 20. That's definitely not what I expected. Let's step back a little further. All right, I taped up the targets. Now we're out at 30 yards. And once again, starting with the 18 inch Weatherby. So I was a little worried that we were gonna have some fly over the top, but it looks like we got all nine pellets on the paper. And this is a new hole right here. It went straight through the piece of tape that I had on there. So it looks like this one and this one are the two furthest apart. And that is a 15 and a half inch gap between those two pellets. All right, let's try the Benelli at 30 yards. I'm actually gonna aim towards the middle of this target so that I don't lose any off the top of the paper. I think I got lucky last time. <laughs> So this is a pretty similar group to what we got from the Weatherby at 30 yards. We actually had one or two, it looks like, uh, go off the side of the paper over here. And I think this one and that one are the two furthest apart. So that is also about a 15 and a half inch gap between those two pellets. So 
uh, basically identical to what we got from the 18 and a half inch gun at 30 yards. So I'm gonna step out to 40 yards and this will probably be the last stop because uh, we're gonna start getting groups so big that they're definitely gonna fly off the paper. So let's do one more and see how these groups look. All right, now we're out at 40 yards and like I said, this will probably be the last stop because we're definitely gonna start losing pellets uh, out this far. So I taped up every single hole on the target so we shouldn't miss any. Once again, starting with the 18 and a half inch Weatherby. So this is kind of what I was afraid of. We definitely had at least one fly off the side of the target. We also had one hit right there on the very edge and put a hole in the board. And we actually had one hit all the way down here. And you can see it went through that piece of tape that I had on there. So I know that that's a brand new hole and we have one way up here too. So it looks like those are the two furthest apart. And that is about a 27 inch gap between those two pellets. So uh, like I said, definitely had one fly off the target, but as far as the ones that are on the paper, that's a 27 inch spread for the 18 and a half inch at 40 yards. Let's try the Benelli. I just noticed I'm getting mud all over my shotguns, but um, I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I thought there would be when I started the video, but after seeing these last few shots, I don't think this one's gonna do too much better, so let's see. Oh, I love that smell. I don't know what it is, but it seems like shotguns, the gunpowder smells better to me for some reason. <laughs> so it looks like we actually got all nine pellets on the target this time, so I guess that's a point for the Benelli. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it looks like this one and this one are the two furthest apart. So that is about a 25 inch gap between those two pellets. So I think we had a 27 inch spread with the 18 inch gun and a 25 inch spread with the 28 inch gun. So uh, not much of a difference, but we did get two inch tighter spread with the 28 inch Benelli. So you guys know the deal. We ain't gonna get through a whole video without making at least somewhat of a mess. So I got some 12 ounces down there and some buckshot in this shotgun. Let's take them out. Well, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I actually am a little surprised by this. I thought we would get much tighter groups with the 28-inch uh, gun. I knew once you get out past you know, 30 or 40 yards that it all kind of goes out the window, but um, really at 10 yards is the only place that we saw a significant uh, difference with the 28 inch gun and it was back and forth for the rest of the video so like i said kind of interesting maybe not so much to some of you guys i'm sure a lot of you have done similar experiments on your own time but uh, yeah kind of surprised me a little bit so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i hope you maybe learned something today if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Mmm.